our view on Survivor Series 2007 WWE pay-per-view. Um, I have I did not see the whole thing. I mean, I've seen like the an hour and a half of it. Let's just put it that way, because I started watching at 8:30. Um, so I missed the ECW match and the Diva match. All I can say is that CM Punk won, which is a good thing, and the Mickey James won the Diva match. Um. I could have. What I could do is guess. Um, maybe the ECW match was pretty good. I don't know. So you know what? I'm just gonna go with average. <sighs> then you got the next match, with this, which is the match that I saw, which is Cody Rhodes, Hardcore Holly versus the Rednecks, Tre um, Trevor Murdoch and Lance Cade. I don't know. I just call them the Rednecks. Um. <sighs> Yeah, this was an okay match. Like, cause you got Cody Rhodes, he's pretty talented. You got uh, Hardcore Holly, who's talented, and um, the uh, Rednecks, which are okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna say very talented, but they're okay. And um, there's no other words I can describe to say how boring it was. I didn't really watch it, but yeah, that's about it. Then you have the uh, WWE match, which is kind of surprising to see. The second to last match, because usually the WWE matches, the WWE Championship match is last. But I guess because of the Hell in a Cell, it was second to last. So it's HBK versus uh, Randy Orton, and um, this match was pretty good. It, I mean, it was pretty good, and it was very funny to see. Oh shit! It was very funny to see um, Randy Orton use the cross face, <laughs> which. Uh, that was not really funny, or I mean, it wasn't really cool. Because, I mean, Chris Benoit passing away. Why is he using that move? He got so many moves. And then, uh, I could have sworn he was going for the sharpshooter or figure four, Ric Flair's move or Bret Hart's move. Uh, that would have been cool to see him use the, um, sharpshooter, but maybe, um, he's looking back on his past and said, oh, hell no, maybe, uh, this is not such a good idea. And, uh, then he did the, uh, ankle lock, which, uh, Kurt Angle was probably flipping his shit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What's it? So, um, that was pretty funny to see. And, uh, it ended pretty bad because RK, um, Randy Orton used the RKO and, uh, picked up the win. Um, I don't think this match was fair, but, I mean, it, it was a pretty, de it was an average match. It was a bit above average. And then, um, after the match, uh, HBK pretty much, uh, Super kicked the shit out of him, uh, Randy Orton, and it was just, it was just decent. That's all I could say. Next is the Hell in a Cell match. This was definitely a match of the night until Edge showed up. I mean, it still was match of the night, but to me, but Edge just came out of nowhere at a wrong time. What the fuck? Hello? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. No problem. Bye. Sorry about that. Uh -huh. Yeah, so what I was saying was uh, Edge just showed up during a... Like, they were actually going at it pretty good. Like, in the cage, they were uh, fighting each other, and, uh, and they were all bleeding to... <laughs> they were bleeding profusely, and uh, Undertaker did the tombstone twice, like, and I thought he was about to pick up the win, but then Edge came out of nowhere. He was either the cameraman or under the ring, but my guess is that he was under the ring because I don't think Edge is a good cameraman at all. So, yeah, this, this match was definitely match of the night to me, maybe not to some other people, but... I'm not, like, the big hardcore wrestling fan. I like it, just not, like... Crazy. I'm not crazy about it. But yeah, this this was a very this that was a great match, match of the night. I'm I'm pretty sad that they didn't go on top of the cage, but looking back, if they did, something bad could have happened to either one of them. It wouldn't be good. So yeah. I'm glad they stayed in. Uh, so that has been my review. Thank you for watching. Sorry for the interruption and goodbye.